Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Ephesians 4.2 When we encounter a frustrating person, our first human response is typical. Irritation or anger. We want to criticize and point out their flaws. Or we want to establish that we are right to someone else can be the bad guy and we'll feel better about ourselves. When interactions with people get stressful, we find it hard to be patient. And our fall back every time is pride, arrogance, and impatience. But Paul reminded us that as believers, we must operate differently. We must live our kingdom values. To be specific, Paul encouraged us to be completely humble and gentle. Not partially, not partially, but completely. And not by gritting our teeth because we're supposed to be kind, but to be wholeheartedly extending Christ-like kindness. We are to have servants' hearts of love like our Savior has. Think about a frustrating person in your life. Think about a frustrating person in your life. Maybe someone who knows exactly how to annoy you, annoy you on the daily. Just annoy, annoy, annoy. Now, ask the Holy Spirit to work in your heart so you can be humble, gentle, and patient, extending genuine Christ-like love. Lord, I need you to help me love this difficult person. Please help me. In life, we all will encounter difficult people daily. But this is a great message to heed to. Usually hurting people hurt others. We never know what somebody else is fighting. We never know what somebody else is struggling with. We never know. So to be Christ-like is to be gentle. We're all flawed. We all make mistakes. And the worst speech you'll ever give is when you're angry. Remember that the worst things that'll ever come out of your mouth is when you're angry because you will say anything to hurt another person and it's wrong. So most gracious Heavenly Father, we just come to you now and we pray that we will pray for our enemies, that we will walk away from strife, We will walk away from those that try to persecute us. But in love, if we have to engage, we will be Christ-like. Give us that strength daily to do your will. Because being a Christian is the hardest thing you'll ever do. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.